Hi, I'm Tom Mansfield. This is another one of my videos discussing using the T5 system to accelerate patient flow and improve patient care by increasing efficiency. In this video, I'll be explaining why the workflow dramatically changes when you carry around the electronic equivalent of all of the patient's charts right in your hand and have them with you each time that you see the patient. First, let me run through the history of tablet computers. Now, tablet computers are all over. I see children frequently playing with small tablets or smartphones while they're waiting in the emergency department or in the urgent care clinic. It's very natural for them to use their fingers to work the tablet. This form factor was found to be ergonomic and efficient many, many centuries ago. Amazingly, in 1888, that's 1888, not 1988, the first patent for an electronic tablet used for handwriting was granted. The first publicly demonstrated system using a tablet and handwriting recognition instead of a keyboard for working on a modern digital computer dates to 1956. A number of works of science fiction had tablet computers. In 1951, Foundation by Isaac Asimov had the calculator pad. In 1961, Return to the Stars by Stanislaus Lem had the Opton, which essentially was a Kindle electronic book reader, and the Lecton that read a book out loud. In 1966, Star Trek by Gene Roddenberry had numerous tablet-like devices. In 1968, 2001, A Space Odyssey by Arthur C. Clarke had a news pad. Many visionaries kept trying to promote this tablet computer concept to a wider audience, but it just never caught on. Apple released the Apple Graphics Tablet in 1979, and the development of the Apple Newton was started in 1987. In 2000, Microsoft coined the term Microsoft Tablet PC. In 2002, original equipment manufacturers released the first tablet PCs designed to run on Windows XP Tablet PC Edition. Still, there just wasn't much interest. Most people just couldn't see the benefit of a tablet computer. I demonstrated the fantastic handwriting recognition on one of these Windows XP tablet computers and my partners were amazed how it so accurately transcribed my sloppy handwriting but thought that three pounds was just too heavy to be carried around and used for charting. Then in 2000 Steve Jobs released the iPad and finally the concept of a tablet caught on and caught on big. Technology on both the hardware and software side and the internet had developed far enough to make a truly useful tablet computer. And now tablets are poised to continue to improve in the area of weight, screen contrast, CPU power, storage capacity, and battery life. Well, what's next? A Dick Tracy 1946 two-way radio? Or a Dick Tracy 1986 two-way wrist TV? But back to the emergency department. When we had our first emergency department charting system, MediMouse, in 1994, we had computers in many of the rooms, but few of the doctors used them in the rooms. Like now, they all sat at desks in the nursing station to do their charting. At that time, the QBE tablet was due to be available any time now, but didn't come out until 2000 and cost $4,000. I had hoped then that the QBE would allow point-of-care charting. When Drs. Woodrow Gandy and Rob Langton came up with the idea to develop template documentation for the emergency department, they initially envisioned the system as a software program, but decided first to perfect the templates on paper. Then in 2001, they adapted the T-sheets 
and expanded them into a comprehensive emergency department information system, or EDIS. They naturally continued to use the charting on a clipboard analogy and developed the T-System EV to be used on a tablet computer. Their design was so far ahead of any other vendor, even in 2002, that when charting side by side with seven other vendors in the simulated patient encounter at the Pennsylvania ASAP Symposia in San Diego, all of the other vendors were literally floundering, while Dr. Gandhi easily was able to chart the whole encounter on a tablet computer right while the simulated doctor and patient were having their conversation. One observer described it as if all of the other vendors were floundering about in the water and Dr. Gandhi sped past them in a speedboat. The T-System EV makes it that easy. T-System EV's ease of use is still essential in the equation to be useful in the fast-paced T5 area and in the whole emergency department. Just like in 1994, we still need a way to unchain the providers from the desk to increase their efficiency. T-System EV on a tablet computer enables this by enabling the provider to go from patient to patient rather than going from desk to patient, then back to the desk. When we can do our charting in the room with the patient, explain the labs, imaging, medication treatments that we are ordering, then go right to the next patient without having to go back and sit at a desk. This significantly increases our productivity, not to mention the patient's feeling that they are included in the evaluation and treatment process. Because T-System EV has such a graphically rich status board that can be viewed right on our tablet computer, or on the large wall monitors, physicians and nurses can see at a glance where each patient's progress is. Having all of this information on the tablet computer also unleashes our imagination for further customer satisfaction. For instance, the physician and nurses, aides, volunteers can frequently walk over to your patient, show them what is completed and what is still pending. Providers can show what the x-rays or CT scans or MRIs look like to further help our patient to understand our reasoning for our diagnosis or what serious conditions we have made sure that they don't have. We also can order meds or new labs right at the bedside right then and keep our patient and their family in the loop and address any of their needs and concerns on a regular basis. Using the T-System EV on a tablet computer in this way, in the whole emergency department, really upgrades the T5 system to a T9 system. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Continue watching the remaining videos for more detailed information on the T-System EV charting system. The two videos that follow and show in detail how T-System EV is so fast and easy to use, and the videos will convince you that you can chart quickly at the bedside at the point of care. Feel free to contact me for any other questions that are not answered in the Frequently Asked Questions section.